Did you know that Google recently launched new ID in the cloud named Firebase Studio? If you want to know, watch this video. Hey guys, my name is Vlad and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. In this video, we're going to talk about Firebase Studio. It's a new thing from Google. Okay, it's not super new. It's a rebranded version of Project IDX, but with additional functionality. In this video, we're going to cover main things about this IDE and we will build with you simple application by just using simple English. Within 15 minutes, you will get a working application that you can publish and let other user use it. If you're ready, then let's get started. What is Firebase Studio? Firebase Studio is a cloud-based development environment created by Google. It combines the power of Firebase's backend services with a full code editor and Google AI system for developers. It is like VS Code in the cloud, but smarter and with Firebase built right in. Basically, you don't have to install anything. Just go to uh, studio.firebase.google.com Log in with your Google account and you are ready to start your coding. You can prototype apps with natural language, write and run code, test with Firebase simulators, and deploy all from the browser. If you ever work with uh, Replit, it is kind of similar thing. And the good thing is you can build mobile and web applications and you don't have to set up any environments on your computer. Everything is on the cloud. Okay, let's try to build something simple studio.firebase.google.com and in the prompt section write what application do you want to build. As I've noticed, currently prototyping works only with Snake.js, but other functionalities uh, like a code assistant or development environments working with other languages as well. In my prompt, I'm using simple English language and I ask AI to create for me simple to-do list application. After a few seconds, you will see additional questions from AI. We'll try to clarify what exactly you want to build, what color schema do you want to use, and few other questions. So if you are happy with the initial plan from AI, you can click uh, the prototype uh, app button and then AI will start build for you your application. Depends on complexity of your application, it could take around 5 minutes or so. Once AI finishes the application, you will see it at the left hand side. Okay, it seems my application is ready. And here we go. This is my simple to do application with AI suggestions. I actually didn't plan to have this functionality, AI suggestions. But let me check what it does and then we decided to keep or remove it. Okay, let's test our application first. We'll try to add something in my to-do list. Okay, I can add uh, things to my list. It's working fine. There is also a checkbox that will cross out my to-do. Assume when I completed my task, I can click this checkbox. And let's check what AI suggestions will do. And I'm not sure, it seems it didn't do anything. Or maybe I have to provide some API key somewhere. So let's don't worry about it now. If you want to change something in your application, you can use the chat at the right hand side, or you can use select element and pick the element that you want to change. And then write, what do you want to change? For instance, I'll ask AI to change the color of this button. And as you could see, after a few seconds, the color of the button will be different. Let's check if everything is working. And as you can see, everything's working fine. If you see the error at the left-hand side, you can click on it and then AI will detect the error. And you will see in the right column, it will ask you if you want to fix it. Yeah, let's do the last thing before we publish our application. I will ask AI to remove this section because it doesn't work and I don't want to have this functionality. You need uh, just use the selector and then select this element and write your prompt. Instance, I will ask AI to remove this section. And as you could see, just using a simple English language, I'll remove the section. Let's check the application. Seems everything is working. Suppose you're already happy with your application and you want to show it to your colleague and use the link to share it with them so they can look and test your prototype before you make it available to the public. And as you could see, everything is working fine. If you are not happy with the result and AI can't fix it for you, 
you can fix it by yourself. You can switch to the code by using this icon and then you will see whole code of your application. Of course, if you don't have experience in uh, web development, it maybe won't be useful for you. But if you have, then it's definitely useful for you. As you could see, this is my project folder. Everything is here. You can change the code and adjust whatever you want. Okay, and the most wonderful part is that after you finish your development and prototyping, and you're happy with the result, you can publish your application into Firebase. Simply click at the publish button at the top right corner, then follow the steps below to set up your project inside the Firebase. You would need to create cloud billing account and then set up your environments. Everything is simple and straightforward. Just follow the instructions on the screen. The environment setup step can take a while, so be patient. Maybe you will feel that the process is stuck, but it's not, it just takes some time. For me, it took around 10 minutes, and at the end, you will see the URL of the application. This is the public URL. It's not pretty, so if you want, you can set up your custom domain name. You can watch my other video how to do that. To share the prototype, it's more than enough. Let me open incognito mode just to make sure that application is available for public. And as you can see, everything is working. So you can go back and continue improve your prototype and then roll out additional version and then it will be available at the same URL. And that's probably it. It's a main functionality of Firebase Studio. I also will share with you the video about Project IDX to demonstrate for you other functionalities. And that's it. As you can see, it's quite powerful and really easy to use. If you like this video, please click like. If you don't like this video, it's okay. I will a little bit sad, but you can click dislike. But please share with me your feedback and comments with all. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel to see how I improve the videos. And you can watch my other videos. Maybe you will like some of them. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye.